channel. Thanks for stopping by Next Level Studio. I'm Marquita. And here at Next Level Studio, we share all things positive um, with regards to self-love, self-esteem, self-confidence, and truth. Um, so thanks a lot for stopping by. If you haven't already joined the family, by all means, hit that like button. Uh, comment if you have something positive to comment about, or even if it's just uh, constructive criticism, I don't mind that at all. And if you really like the channel, feel free to subscribe. I appreciate it. That's how we continue to help you continue to bring uh, pertinent, relevant, and uh, informative content to to viewers like yourself, and hopefully grow the channel. All right. So today's topic today to share with you is really a, it's not that, that uh, long, it's just uh, a meeting of sharing with you <clears throat> tips, six tips for unlocking, making uh, clever YouTube videos, and I'm just saying this because I've made a few, not that many, but a few, and I just wanted to share with you because if I can do it, you can do it, and that's what it's all about, helping you us helping one another. So for the ones who may be on the fence and not sure, I just wanted to come through and just let you know you can do this. Um, the number one thing is you want to plan your video. Uh, you want to have your outline. You want to kind of stick with the outline. Uh, keep the descriptive at all possible. That's number one. And then number two, you want to gather your equipment like lighting, whether it's um, artificial like electrical light or sunlight coming in. I have a little both going on here and uh, my tripod as well as the camera uh, in the tripod. You want to make sure you have all your equipment together. Uh, you want to start or want to make sure you got a great, number three, a great filming location. Something where there's natural light coming in or light period coming in. like you're, I don't know, somebody else, your favorite YouTube influencer, just be yourself. Um, you're unique and wonderful, and people are, are coming back to see you, or maybe they're just now being introduced to you. So just be yourself and go over your footage, whatever your script is, as best as you can. Try to stick with it as, as best as you can. And even if you get off, off course or go off on a tangent, it's okay because you're recording it, and there will always be Number six, I'm sorry, number five, opportunity to edit your video. And to me, that's the most tedious part of recording uh, videos on YouTube, and that is um, editing. That is editing your video. Editing your video can be so much fun. When you sit there and you see all these great uh, texts and, and, and formats and fonts and, and so many videos that you can put on top of your video or in your video. Transitions and I mean, it can be just so much fun, but it's the tedious part of going through line by line, section by section, to make sure that you are saying and communicating and conveying what you want to communicate to your audience. That can be very tedious, but in the end, when it's all wrapped up and done, it can be a whole lot of fun. doesn't matter if you think it's amazing, if your audience doesn't think it's amazing enough to either come back to your video or to subscribe to it, you have to listen to your audience to make sure that you're putting up videos that they actually want to see or hear. If this is your first video, go for it. Just 
jump in and do it. Don't be afraid. You can do that. And like I say, at the editing piece, it will get rid of, you know, uh, filler words like you know or uh, you know, get rid of those. You can always get rid of uh, dead space. Sometimes you go numb on camera and you freeze and it's like, oh crap, what was I saying? And so you can edit that out and that's okay. So don't even worry about when you're recording, oh, I did this or I did that in it. And it'll work out because when you go through the edit, editing process, it'll get rid of anything that you feel is still are filler words or uh, dead space and that kind of thing. So once you get to the point where you're exporting your video, you can export it to YouTube and make sure you have a great, really great title. And if you're not sure about the title, if it's going to be catchy enough or clever enough, you can always go to and type something in, whatever your title is, you think it's going to be an asset because the AI that actually gives you a, a really clever title, an outstanding title that will draw your audience in. Um, I think that'll do it for this video today. If you found any of the information here useful or helpful, by all means, hit that like, share, comment below, of course, and definitely hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified whenever I put up new, new videos. And we want you to come back. So please, if you have any comments or any suggestions about content, it would be my pleasure to put it up for you. Thank you so much for stopping by Next Level Studio. Uh, it was great having you here. And I hope you come back and see the next video. Until then, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. We'll see you on the next video.